Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel again. Hope you all are well. So today I will show you a most wanted and mouth watering Indian snacks. It's bean wheel samosa. So first uh, I will show you that uh, how to make the stuffing. We need two potatoes and I cut it into small pieces. Uh, and now uh, take a karai and I'm adding three to four teaspoon of oil. And uh, one by one, I'm adding some kalonji, ajwain, cumin seeds, and uh, saute them. After that, I'm adding all the semi boiled potatoes. I boil the potatoes for five minutes. Now, uh, after mixing all of this, one by one, I'm adding some uh, salt, some turmeric powder, some sugar in it. Mix them all together. Okay, so some of you are thinking that what kind of samosa is this? Actually, this is not a triangular shaped samosa. This is a, like a wheel. So it's called a pin wheel samosa. So after that, I'm adding some uh, amchur powder, some chaat masala, some kasori methi, and lastly, I'm adding some coriander leaves and uh, mix them all together. So now mix all of these very well and do not forget to smash the potato and all of these properly. So our stuffing is ready and uh, it's time to make the dough. So for the dough we need 2 full cup of flour, 2 uh, tablespoon of samolina or suji, a pinch of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt and a few amount of sugar and half a teaspoon of ajwain, kalonji and uh, lastly I am adding uh, 2 tablespoon of oil. First mix all the dry ingredients with the oil and when it's mixed properly then you add, uh, you add the water and again you mix and make a tough dough you don't need to add more water in this uh, this uh, for this dough only a little bit of water is needed and remember that you have to make a tough dough so here uh, you can see that our dough is ready this is how it's look like and keep it aside for uh, at least 5 to 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes keep it outside and again make it properly. Actually uh, I divided it into two portions to show you that uh, how it's look like. See the texture and uh, so now I'm taking one dough and press it with my hand after pressing it with your hands make a thin chapati i spread some all-purpose flour over there and uh, when you make the chapati you have to remember that uh, keep the process of turning and rolling otherwise the middle portion and the edges are not same So in this stage our thin chapati is ready and uh, I keep the process of turning and rolling and uh, when it's ready I spread all the samosa filling with the help of a spoon and uh, spread all over after that I am adding some basic ghee over it if you see the full video and follow the process you can understand that how can you make this at home
okay so now tightly roll it just like an egg roll so after that cut them into pieces and uh, you can see that how beautiful they are looking so that is why uh, look this is look like a wheel so that is how it's called pin wheel samosa Okay, so uh, now it's time to make for a batter. We need a very smooth batter, and uh, I'm taking all-purpose flour and water. Uh, here I'm taking two teaspoon all-purpose flour and a few amount of water, and mix them very well. Okay, again uh, take a kadai and adding two to three full cup of refined oil. Let the oil become hot. now deep it and deep fry it on medium to low flame one by one i'm adding all the pin wheel samosa here when one side is done properly uh, then flip it over to the other side and fry it until it's become golden brown see how it changes its color so our pin wheel samosa is ready with a very lovely color it's really crunchy and tasty also so try it at your home for your guest and also your family members hope you like the video thanks for watching the video do like comment and subscribe our channel